Welcome to Chris Budget Gears and Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the P Tech Gear Rip Away IFAC pouch that you could purchase from off of Amazon. We're going to be actually doing this one a little bit different than how I do a lot of my videos because I already did one video on this and um I liked it at first, then I didn't like it, then I did like it after I stopped and thought about it. So that's why you can kind of see that this isn't set up how most of my videos are set up. But let me go to Amazon and show you exactly which IFAC we're talking about. So we'll cut to that right now. Okay, so once again, we got the P-Tac gear rip away IFAC pouch. I liked it. I didn't like it. Now I like it again. How did we even get to the point of purchasing this? This is the AR500 small of the back IFAC pouch. In my opinion, this is a good one gunshot wound quick access IFAC pouch. Because this is their IFAC refill kit. And it was no way possible that I was going to be able to fit all this stuff inside of this IFAC from AR500. So I needed something more bigger. Like I'm saying, we're going to make this our one quick access gunshot wound IFAC. And we're going to take all this stuff and put this inside of the P-Tac gear. This will be more like my long-term shit hit the fan IFAC kit where I got everything that I need. So let's take a look at the IFAC. Okay, let's go ahead and rip it off. And we're going to get to the things that I like and that I didn't like, but now I like it again. So it comes with two different ways you can set it up. You can set it up with the Mali system. Or you can slide it directly into the belt, how I have it. And this is the Koi Essentials Battle Belt, one and a half inches. It also comes with a racket coil. Indentation protects the sewing thread from exposure and abrasion and from being easily torn. So they add a little bit more durability to it. They guarantee a quality product. And they also have after sale service, PTAC gear. And that's it for that. Let's go ahead and actually open the IFAC up and take a look at it. This is the actual inside of the IFAC. Which is really the most important thing that you probably want to see. What the inside of it looks like. Looks like it's a lot more space. You can put more, a lot more supplies in it. But I want to get to the part that I liked. I didn't like. Now I like again. So this is how I have it attached to my belt. Also, I want to give a message out to PTAC. You have to include some kind of instructions because I assume that once you slide this on your belt, how I have it slid into my belt, that you're supposed to take this and slide this in the molly strap to kind of sink it into there, but there wasn't no instructions, so that's how I'm running it. Y'all got to include some kind of instructions, or better yet, have a little video on your website or something kind of showing people how to set it up once they purchase it. But you can slide it directly onto your belt. If you want to, you can take these and then slide these through the molly and that kind of locks it into there. And there isn't that much slop in it. Not that much. You have to remember that this is a battle belt, so it is two pieces. And I actually have it attached to the outer belt and I have the inner belt kind of locking it into place. Now what I could possibly do is maybe take some zip ties or something and kind of block it off so it stay right there in that specific spot but even if I didn't do that it's not that much slop because you have the velcro and once you actually got it on your person a lot of that slack won't be as pleasant so that's how I got it on there <clears throat> but this is the part where I kind of liked it and I didn't like it so you see how it's set up so I got these clamps that you can kind of clamp it over Important to remember, the clamp is on the portion that's attached to your belt. Let's take the eye fact, let's put it onto there, and we're going to close it down. Now this is the part that I didn't like. If I needed to access this rip away eye fact pouch right now, I wouldn't be able to get it unless I actually hit that portion right there. And the reason being is, once you lock that down like that, and if you try to go rip it, it's blocking it. 
because this portion is attached to the part that's attached to your belt. You see what I'm saying? So when I kind of seen that, I was like, you know what? I really don't like that. But maybe I understand why they did that. Maybe I have to just put it into my muscle memory that when I need to access this eye fact, I'm going to have to reach behind me, hit this, and then come rip it off. And that's okay. And when I sat down and thought about it, I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Because this is kind of like my main eye fact. My shit hit the fan. I'm going to try to stuff everything inside of here, inside of this eye fact. And have this one set up for more of a quick access eye fact. So once I sat down and thought about it, I was like, you know what? That's not that big of an issue. Because I kind of do want this one to be synced down, tight and secure. You could tighten it down even more. Because this is the one that's going to be on my battle belt. And if I got to roll to the left. Roll to the right, low crawl, and do all that good stuff. I want to make sure that this will stay attached to my person. So after I sat down and thought about it, it's okay. I just have to build it up into my muscle memory that when I want to access this eye fact on my middle of my back, my main one, I'm going to have to reach behind, hit that first, then rip it off. So not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. Once you actually sit down and think about it, that's actually a good idea because you want something that's going to keep it securely to your person. So that's not that big of a deal. So that's why I kind of had it set up like that because I actually did this video previously. Then when I seen that, I was like, I kind of didn't like it. Then I had to sit down and think about it like, you know what? I do kind of like that. That is a good idea. So with that being said, I think that this is a good purchase right here. The P-TAC Ripaway IFAC Pouch. I think it's a good deal. I think it's a good deal. Now, the second video we're going to do, which I probably let do that video next week, we're going to try to get all of this stuff set up inside of here. And hopefully we can get everything set up inside of there. Looking at it, I believe that everything inside of here should be able to fit. But with that being said, I think this is a good eye fact right here. I do. I had to sit down and think about it because that little part right there kind of threw me off a little bit. But once you sit down and think about it, that's not really that big of a deal. You kind of want that to be to be secure to your person. And you'll just build up into your muscle memory that you need to hit that before you can access this. So with that being said, I think we got us a winner, man. I think this is a good eye fact for the money. Time will tell. If I can fit this entire refill kit inside of here, then we really got a winner. And we'll do that next week. Kind of stretch our little material out a little bit. But with all that being said, y'all be blessed, be safe, and I'm out.